Hello, welcome back. I was shopping in Michael's and I found a foil quill that plugs into a USB port. And I love the gold effects that foil creates and I love using it on my Cricut. But this I thought was gonna be so super cool because now I can apply it to my canvas art and freehand. So in this video, I thought you could watch as I experimented and we can learn together and see if we can create some new effects with our art. So the pin has a light on. It's plugged in. It's been sitting for about five minutes. The instructions say, let it sit for five minutes. I'm just resting it. Don't touch that tip. It's hot, but this rubber is um, very soft, not hot and it's good for writing. Make sure the cord is on your writing hand. I'm right-handed, so it's on the right. If I was left-handed, the cord would get in the way. It comes with a roll of foil, and it did come a little uh, damaged on it, but I'm okay with that, because this is my practice piece. It's an eight by 10 canvas, acrylic paint pour, it's unsealed. And I thought I would try to write the word love down here. I did this painting maybe, maybe a year ago and I thought it needed a little something more and I haven't figured out what, but I saw this and I said, hey, I know what I can do with this to see if it works. So I'm gonna cut some foil. And cut a piece. And these are my paper scissors. Set that aside says use some low tack tape. So I just got a little bit of frog tape. Frog tape's a little higher tack, but this is an experiment, so I'm good with that. I'm gonna just put it down here and here. If you've used this, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you've used it on and how you like it. I just think this is the coolest thing. And if this works on canvas, a oh, whole new world of fun is ahead. Let's see if I can get that side down just a little bit. Here's the paper. And that one. Let me just tear this. You could use washi tape also, that's a low tack tape. Um, this will be just fine. Okay, so I got it down, got my pen, don't touch the tip, and let's see what happens. Okay, let me peel up this tape. Yeah, the frog tape was just fine. Oh, that is super cool. It's a thinner line, but that is so cool. little highlighted in a gold foil. Obviously for what I wanna do with this, it's a little thin, but maybe make some accent lines in here. Oh, how cool is that? So the other one I wanted to try was this canvas. Uh, this is a practice piece now. I had originally finished it but um, when I was storing it, tissue paper. I used to wrap my art in tissue paper before I learned better. Don't do that, the tissue will stick to it and then it doesn't come off. Um, I use parchment paper now to put between them. But it's all scratched now, has tissue stuck to it some places, it's cracked. So yeah, this is a great practice piece. So let me take my foil 
I'm gonna use the same piece. I'm just gonna use the areas I didn't go on. And if you do have a paper cut machine, it's really hard to reuse the foil in the paper machine, but you can just save the little scraps and use it with your freestyle. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda make a couple swirls. See if it adheres. And actually, I'm gonna try to make this a thicker line. This is fun. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, very cool. Hopefully you can see it. <laughs> oh yeah, all in here. Very cool. In the right application, this is gonna be great. So, let me put those here. And I wanna do one last. It's a resin uh, light switch cover that I made, that I have a mold from. So, one wanted to see how it would work on resin. So, I'm gonna just, well, <laughs> Let's just try it. I didn't tape this one down. Probably should have, but it's writing pretty well. You just have to hold it with your hands. Oh yeah, it worked. It's just the blue, it's very faint. So this may not be an ideal application. Good to know. But this is light colored, small details. Very cool idea. And it's definitely something to think about with our projects. So let me know if you've tried this and what you thought and what you've used it on. I do have a Facebook group called the Paint Pour Academy. Uh, if you go join that group, you can share any images with me if you've used any foil or foil tools. I would love to see them. So let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.